Congratulations to Narendra Modi on winning the Philip Kotler Award for Excellence in Marketing. Now his government may have miserably failed in every attempt at good governance, but they have spent 5,000 crore rupees to create an illusion that it has all been hunky-dory. And with all that money spent, here are five of Modi ji's marketing gimmicks that he tried to pass off as reality. Two crore jobs. Modi ji promised two crore jobs per year to the Indian youth. But last year alone, 1.1 crore jobs were lost and there are no signs of any new ones being generated. So basically, they took away more jobs than they provided. Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao When a misogynist like PM Modi talks about women empowerment, you almost think he's joking. But with the help of numerous jingles and advertisements, they really tried to make this fly until their own MLA was charged for rape. And their UPCM, Ajay Singh Bisht, tried to protect him from getting arrested. And to add to the embarrassment, it was found that the government through this scheme spends only 5 paise per girl child. Ujwala Yojana Part-time PM but full-time liar Narendra Modi claims that the lives of 3 crore women in India were changed by this scheme. They crowded the streets with advertisements boasting the same. Whereas in reality, the consumption rate has increased only by a meagre 0.8% and more than 75% of the connections lie inactive. 15 lakhs in every bank account. Now we could easily use data to refute this Jumla, but how about you just check your bank accounts to realize what a mockery Modi ji has made of his promises. Make in India. Along with two crore jobs, PM Modi also promised to make India a manufacturing giant. Since then, industrial growth has reduced from 7.4% to 4.5% and new investment has fallen to a 14-year low. So it's pretty clear that the only thing Modi ji has made in India is a fool of himself with these marketing gimmicks. But fortunately, the people are not buying into his fake narrative anymore and are ready to send him off to a much-needed retirement.